بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو اپلائڈ ترمو ڈائنامکس بائی میکان کی ویڈ ڈاکٹر آبید حسین سو ان دس لیکچر وی آر سالونگ پرابلم ٹو پانڈ پائیب سو پرابلم ٹو پانڈ پائیب ایز یوزنگ دی ٹیبل فار ایمونیا گیون ان ریپرنس ٹو پانڈ ون کلکولیٹ دی سپیسیفک انتالپی ان سپیسیفک والیوم اپ ایمونیا ایڈ زیرو فانڈ سیون ون ڈبل سیون بار ڈرائن ایس پریکشن زیرو فانڈ نائن پارٹ نمبر ٹو فانڈ سپیسیفک انتالپی ان سپیسیفک والیوم اپ ایمونیا ایڈ ترٹین ڈگری سنٹیگریڈ ویچ ایس سچوریٹڈ این دی سپیسیفک انتالپی اپ ایمونیا ایڈ سیون فانڈ پائیو ٹو نائن بار این ترٹی ڈگری سنٹیگریڈ سو پسٹ فی سال پارٹ نمبر ون سو ایڈ پارٹ نمبر ون سپیسیفک انتالپی سپیسیفک والیوم این سپیسیفک انتالپی ایز ریکوائیڈ این پریشر ایز زیرو فانڈ سیون ون ڈبل سیون بار این ڈرائی انسپریکشن ایکس ایز ایکل ٹو زیرو فانڈ نائن ڈرائی انسپریکشن ایز گیون ایٹ مینز ایڈ دی پراپرٹی آر این ویٹ ریجن ڈرا سیچوریشن کرو آن پی وی ڈائیگرام This is saturation curve. Let's suppose that is, this is pressure 0 for 7, 1, double 7 bar. This is constant pressure line. X is 0 at this point and X is equal to 1 at this point. So it means that X is equal to 0 for 9 here. So find V and specific volume at dry inspiration is equal to 0 for 9. So at as the value are in saturated, steam, saturated, saturated weight region, so we will use saturated steam table. As x is equal to 0 for 9, so properties are in weight region. So we will find V by using formula V is equal to XVG and H by using formula HF plus x h g minus h f so from saturated steam table at pressure is equal to 0 for 7 1 double 7 bar Vg is equal to Vg is equal to 1 for double pipe 2 meter cube per kg and Hf is equal to 0 kilojoule per kg and Hg is equal to 1390 کلو جول پر کیجی ناو ایز وی ایز ایکل ٹو ایکس وی جی سو فانڈ سپیسیفک والیوم ایکس ایز زیرو فانڈ نائن وی جی ایز ون فانڈ ڈبل پائیو ٹو میٹر کیوب پر کیجی سو سپیسیفک والیوم ایز ایکل ٹو کلکولیٹ دیس سو ویلیو ایز ون فانڈ تری نائن سیکس ایٹ میٹر کیوب پر کے جی ناو پانڈ ایچ سو ایچ ایچ ایکل ٹو ایچ ایف پلس ایکس ایچ جی مائنس ایچ ایف پوٹنگ ویلیوز سو دس امپلائیز ایٹ ایچ ایچ ایکل ٹو دی ویلو آپ ایچ ایس زیرو کلو جول پر کے جی دی ویلو آپ ایکس ایس زیرو فانڈ نائن ایچ جی ایس ون تری نائن زیرو مائنس ایچ ایف ایس زیرو سو ایچ ایس ایکل ٹو ون ٹو پائف ون کلو جول پر کے جی ناو وی آر سالنگ پارٹ نمبر ٹو ایٹ پارٹ نمبر ٹو سپیسیفک انتالپی اینڈ سپیسیفک والیوم آپ ریکوائیڈ آر ریکوائیڈ اینڈ ٹمپریچر ایس ترٹی ڈگری سنٹی گریڈ اینڈ سیچوریٹڈ ایز temperature is 
equal to 13 degree centigrade and saturated and required is specific volume and specific income so this is pressure in bar this is specific volume in meter cube per kg this is saturation curve pressure that is this let's suppose this is a constant temperature line and saturation at this point v is required v is equal to vg and h is equal to hg as temperature is temperature, temperature is saturated so v is equal to vg and h is equal to hg so from h is equal to hg so from saturated steam table steam table now 13 degree centigrade is not available in steam table so we will find from saturated steam table at temperature is equal to 12 degree centigrade 13 is not available so we will find at 12 degree centigrade and 14 degree centigrade and then we will do interpolation at t is equal to 12 degree centigrade h is equal to hg is equal to 1456.1 kilojoule per kg and v is equal to vg is equal to 0 0.1926 meter cube per kg and at temperature is equal to 14 degree centigrade h is equal to hg is equal to 1457.8 kilojoule per kg and specific volume is equal to 0 0.18 05 meter cube per kg now do interpolation so now to find h and v at 13 degree centigrade do interpolation so temperature in degree centigrade and specific enthalpy kilojoule per kg and specific volume in meter cube per kg so temperature is 12 degree centigrade and 14 are available and we have to find h and v at 13 specific enthalpy at 12 degree centigrade is 1456.1 kilojoule per kg at 13 degree centigrade specific enthalpy is required and at 14 degree centigrade specific enthalpy is 1457.8 now at 12 degree centigrade specific volume is 0 0.1926 meter cube per kg and at 13 degree centigrade specific volume is required and at 14 degree centigrade specific volume is 0 0.1805 meter cube per kg now do interpolation first for specific enthalpy so for specific enthalpy the method of interpolation is third minus second divided by third, third minus first divided by third minus six so 14 minus 12 divided by 14 minus 13 is equal to 1457.8 third minus first minus 1456.1 divided by third minus second second is h so rearrange this equation in part h so the value of h is 1456.95 kilojoule per kg kilojoule per kg now do interpolation for specific volume so 
थर्ड माइनस सेकंड थर्ड माइनस फर्स्ट डिवाइड बाय थर्ड माइनस सेकंड फोर्टीन माइनस थर्टीन इज इक्वल टू थर्ड माइनस फर्स्ट डिवाइड बाय थर्ड माइनस सेकंड सेकंड इज वी सो फाइन रीअरेंज दिस इक्वेशन इन फाइन स्पेसिफिक वॉल्यूम सो स्पेसिफिक वॉल्यूम इज जीरो पॉइंट वन एट सिक्स डबल फाइव मीटर क्यूब पर के जी नाउ वी आर सॉल्विंग पार्ट नंबर थ्री सो सो एट पार्ट नंबर थ्री स्पेसिफिक इंतालफी ऑफ अमोनिया इज रिक्वायर्ड एट प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू सेवन पॉइंट फाइव टू नाइन बार एंड टेम्परेचर इज इक्वल टू थर्टी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू सेवन पॉइंट फाइव टू नाइन बार एंड टेम्परेचर इज इक्वल टू थर्टी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड स्पेसिफिक इंतालफी इज रिक्वायर्ड सो फर्स्ट वी चेक दैट टी इज इक्वल टू थर्टी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड इज वेदर इट इज सेचुरेटेड टेम्परेचर आर सुपर हीटेड टेम्परेचर प्रेशर इन बार स्पेसिफिक वॉल्यूम इन मीटर क्यू पर के जी दिस इज सेचुरेशन कर्व प्रेशर इज लेट सपोज दिस इज प्रेशर सेवन पॉइंट फाइव टू नाइन बार दिस कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर लाइन फ्राम saturated vapor line to from saturated liquid line to saturated vapor line this line is a, at this line temperature is constant which is a saturated temperature and behind this superheating start this is superheating temperature beyond saturation vapor line now we find saturated temperature at pressure is equal to 7.529 bar so from saturated स्टीम टेबल ऑफ एमोनिया टी एस इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टी एस इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड सो एस इट मीन दैट टी इज ग्रेटर देन टी एस सो टी विच इज गिवन टू अस थर्टी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एज सुपर हीटिंग टेम्परेचर एस टी एज ग्रेटर देन टी एस सो T is superheated temperature. And the properties are in superheated region. now we are checking superheated steam table but 16 degree centigrade super 30 degree centigrade is not available in superheated steam table but in superheated steam table degree of superheat t minus ts is given t minus t is t minus ts is given t minus ts is given as 50 kelvin and second and second column in ammonia table t minus ts is given as 100 kelvin it means that superheated property at 50 kelvin and at 100 kelvin are given and this 50 kelvin is not superheating temperature but this is degree of superheat mean this is the dependence of superheated temperature and saturation temperature so we know that saturation temperature is 16 degree centigrade saturation temperature is 16 and we know that 1 degree centigrade is equal to 1 kelvin it means that this 16 degree centigrade we can also this name is 16 kelvin so r this is 16 degree centigrade not kelvin net kelvin but this difference 50 kelvin we can name this is 50 degree centigrade so it means that this temperature is this temperature is superheating temperature is basically 66 degree centigrade because this is dependence saturation temperature is subtracted from this if we again heat saturated temperature to this this will be the superheating temperature 
that it means that degree degree of superheat is equal to degree of superheat is equal to superheated temperature minus saturation temperature degree of superheat is 50 kelvin 50 kelvin and this is difference so and kelvin and degree centigrade difference are equal so i can also give at the unit degree centigrade and this is required and saturation temperature is given to us from the ammonia table 16 so if we arrange this equation so t will be 66 degrees centigrade it means that here at 50 kelvin at this point superheated temperature is 66 degrees centigrade and superheated temperature is 66 degrees centigrade and we have to find the values at we have this is superheating temperature and we have to find the value at 30 degree centigrade required this is required and saturated temperature is 16 degree centigrade if we draw saturation curve pv here at this point let's suppose this is saturation form at this point temperature is 16 degree centigrade Be beyond this point beyond this point beyond this point superheating is started and we have to find the value at 30 degree centigrade we have to find the value but this 30 degree centigrade is not available in superheated steam table and this temp this superheated temperature is 66 degree centigrade so if we interpolate between 16 degree centigrade and 66 degree centigrade we can find the value at 30 degree centigrade so from first so temperature and degree centigrade we do interpolation temperature and degree centigrade and enthalpy and kilojoule per kg so first temperature is 16 degree centigrade this is saturation and in this form and we have to find the value at 30 degree centigrade and this temperature is 66 so we we 16 degree centigrade and 66 degree centigrade are available and third we have to find enthalpy at 30 degree centigrade so at this point at this point enthalpy is hg which is equal to enthalpy is hg which is equal to 1459.5 at 30 degree centigrade enthalpy is required this is superheating temperature this is saturation and this is also superheated and 66 degree are our degree of superheat 50 kelvin then enthalpy is given as 1591.7 kilojoule kelvin so we have to inter interpolate between these two temperatures. so third minus first 66 minus 16 66 degree centigrade minus 16 degree centigrade divided by 66 minus 30 is equal to third minus first 1591.7 minus 1459.5 divided by 1591.7 minus h so rearrange this equation and find the value of h so the value of h is a 1496.9 1496.5 kilojoule per kg so problem is com completed and for more videos please like and subscribe my youtube channel thank you